Ever since I heard about the new GMRS radio from Ocean that promised to finally deliver all the benefits of a waterproof super heterodyne receiver and the versatility of USB-C charging, I knew it would be a game changer for outdoors radio enthusiasts like myself. Last year, I had the opportunity to review the KG905G from Ocean, a super heterodyne HT with a 250 channel frequency and tone combo bank. This radio has been one of the better values in the Ocean lineup owing to its amazing signal quality and simple and easy to use interface. The KGS88G builds on that base and takes it quite a bit further. First, there's the upgraded waterproof rating. Where previous models were rated more or less splash resistant, the KGS88G steps that up to a full IP67 rating, which means it can handle submersion into up to one meter of water for up to 30 minutes. While that's not exactly long enough or deep enough for Captain Marco Ramius to use, give me a ping for silly. One ping only, please. It certainly is more than enough to survive a short drop in that mud puddle you tried jumping over on your hike. This rating, it's courtesy of the new chassis design Ocean has rolled out with this radio. In your hand, it definitely feels more dense and compact than previous models, and it weighs several ounces less than the KG935G. There are two different output levels, high and low, with five and one watt rated power outputs respectively. Don't be fooled by the size, the KGS88G hits, and it hits hard. It has no problems hitting its rated mark of five watts output in the high setting. This also benefits it greatly when it comes to signal quality. The KGS88G sounds good, and it gets plenty of compliments whenever I key it up. So good that I put it through the Pepsi challenge against a very well-known Japanese radio, and the results will surprise you. I'll post a link to that video in the description below when it's available, or you can go ahead and click the subscribe button and ring the bell so you don't miss it or any other new radio content when I release it. Inside the case, there are some further improvements, like where the KG905G had the ability to save 256 different frequency and tone combinations, the KGS88G expands that to 400. They've also improved the user interface a bit, and for the first time, I can actually get channel names programmed without a computer pretty efficiently. When you compare it to the way you had to set a channel name on something like the KG935G, the difference becomes really clear. With that radio, turning the channel dial to the right would move the cursor to the right, and turning it to the left would change the alphanumeric value. The problem was, there's no back button for either of them. So if you go one space too far or pass by the letter you were looking for, you have to cycle all the way back around instead of just going back a click or two. The KGS88G fixes this by using a combination of the channel dial and the PF keys. Turning the dial in one direction changes the value, while turning it in the opposite direction well, reverses it. When you need to change spaces, you just use the PF keys. While these improvements are pretty substantial, the one that got me the most excited was the USB-C charging port. Finally, you don't have to choose between bringing the cradle or a stack of batteries when you're headed into the backcountry. You can just rely on the compact USB battery packs we all carry with us to keep our phones and other devices charged. However, there is one caveat to that USB port. In order to maintain the IP67 waterproof rating, the cover on the port has to be secured with a screw. This obviously hinders your ease of recharging in the field, so they've included a thumb screw you can use instead of the flat-headed screw. Just note, the manual specifically states the waterproof rating is only valid when using the flush-headed screw and not the thumb screw. Also, the thumb screw does not sit very well in your hand when holding the radio and can feel kind of awkward. The KGS88G's also got a much smaller battery pack at only 2,000 milliamp hours compared to the 2600 and 3200 on the KG905's and 935's respectively. For me though, the ability to recharge conveniently via USB-C does a lot to negate that. My next con is the display, and while it is bright and easy to read in direct sunlight, that brightness is not adjustable after dark, so for some people this is an issue, not so much for me, but I want you to be aware of it if it is for you. Unlike the KG935G, this radio is only capable of single frequency monitoring, and that means you don't have the ability to listen to two individual frequencies at the same time. It's also only got a single band tuner, and that means it can only monitor UHF frequencies and doesn't have the ability to tune into the NOAA weather channels, which are themselves broadcast in VHF. 
For a radio that's billed to the outdoors crowd, this could be a hard feature to go without. That said, most of those features were ones that I could live without. I really value that smaller form factor, the amazing signal quality, the waterproofing, and that ability to recharge the battery via USB quite a bit. So much so that I'm willing to overlook the exclusion of the NOAA weather channels. And honestly, unless you're spending quite a bit of time away from cell phone coverage, you likely won't miss them either. In the end, we gotta answer the ultimate question, and that's, would I buy this radio with my own money? I absolutely would. It's that good, especially if you intend to use it in more of an active role outdoors. It's small, light, fits well in my hiking packs and my running vest, and gets a great signal out, and it's robust enough to last for quite a long time. If you're interested in knowing more or picking up your own, please check out the affiliate link in the description below. Until next time, be good.